Hello. Today we're going to talk about our work on parallel minimum cuts in m log squared n work and low depth. I'm Daniel and this is joint work with Guy Blalock. So the minimum cut problem, arguably one of the most famous problems in graph algorithms and graph theory, is given a weighted undirected graph, we want to find a partition of the vertices into two non-empty subsets such that we minimize the total weight of all the edges that cross from one of the sets into the other. There have been many algorithms for the minimum cut problem over the years. The first algorithms used reductions to maximum flow. Karga then developed a long line of work based on what he called the contraction technique, which led to several sequential and parallel algorithms. A big breakthrough was then given by Karga, who showed that random sampling and tree packing can be used to obtain an algorithm that returns the correct answer with high probability in m log cubed n time. He also used these same techniques to give a parallel algorithm that runs in n squared log n work and log cubed n depth. Note however that this parallel algorithm is far from work efficient for sparse graphs. And interestingly, these were the best sequential and parallel algorithms for almost 20 years, until very recently. So compared to Karga's sequential algorithm that runs in m log cubed n time, Geisman and Gianni Nazi recently improved Karga's parallel algorithm to run in m log to the 4n work and log cubed n depth. Note that this is just a log n factor slower than Karga's sequential algorithm, but vastly faster than his parallel algorithm for sparse graphs. Garachowski, Moses, and Wyman then improved Karga's sequential algorithm to run in m log squared n time. This is a log n factor better than Karga's sequential algorithm. However, note that even after these improvements, there always remained a gap between the best parallel and best sequential algorithm in terms of work. So our contribution is closing that gap between the parallel and sequential algorithms. We give an algorithm for minimum cut that runs in just order m log squared n work and log cubed n depth. Our algorithm combines ideas from Garachowski et al and from Geisman and Gianni Nazi with new algorithmic tools that allow us to bridge the gap between the two and obtain the best of both worlds. So as an overview of how we do this, we first design a tool. We come up with an algorithmic framework for solving offline mixed batches of updates and queries on weighted trees in parallel. For example, we could solve mixed batches of path weight updates and path weight queries, or mixed batches of vertex weight updates and subtree weight queries, or some combination of the two, or many others. We then show that this tool can be applied to parallelize and speed up several parts of Karga's algorithm and those recent variants of it. Lastly, we show that we can use rate compressed trees to parallelize some of the remaining challenging pieces of Garachowski et al's recent sequential algorithm. So a couple of quick preliminaries. We're going to talk about algorithms in terms of their work and depth. Work is the total number of instructions performed by the algorithm, and depth is the length of the longest chain of sequentially dependent instructions, also commonly called span or parallel time. Bounds in this model are robust with respect to common concrete models such as the PRAM or the binary forking model. They're all work equivalent and at most a log factor difference in the depth. We're also going to need this idea of minimum two respecting cuts, which is a central idea in Karga's algorithm and all the other algorithms in this line of work. We say that a cut two respects a spanning tree if at most two edges of the tree cross the cut. Karga's algorithm is based on this idea, where he shows that random sampling can be produced, uh, used to produce a set of log n spanning trees, such that the minimum cut respects at least two respects at least one of them, with high probability. We'll now talk about our batched mixed operations on trees framework. We'll need some preliminaries for that. First, rate compressed trees. Rate compressed trees are a way of encoding a recursive clustering on a bounded degree tree. They're based on Miller and Reif's parallel tree contraction technique, which we won't get into the details of. But essentially, given a parallel tree contraction schedule, we can produce a recursive clustering of the given input tree with at most log n depth. So a recursive clustering on the tree might look like this. Then, given the recursive clustering, 
we arrange the clusters in a tree where the leaves of the tree represent the clusters consisting of a single vertex or a single edge of the original tree and the internal clusters represent the union of the children clusters and the root cluster represents the entire tree. So the goal of our batched mixed operations framework is to take batches of mixed queries and updates and evaluate them all at once. In essence, we want to know what the answer would be to all of the queries as if the sequence of operations were executed one by one sequentially. Obviously, this is easy to solve sequentially by just doing all the operations one by one. And there are many such solutions for this, such as the well-known link cut trees. So since our goal is not to focus on particular updates and queries, but to do something general, we define a framework that works on any set of operations that falls under a particular class that we call operations with a simple RC implementation or a simple operation set. So we say that a set of operations on trees has a simple RC implementation if it operates on an RC tree and it maintains a value at each cluster of the RC tree such that the initial values are set on the leaves and the values of all the internal clusters can be computed in constant time from the values of the children. Query operations must then involve traversing the RC tree from a leaf cluster upwards and spending constant time examining the values of those clusters and possibly the children of the clusters on that route to leaf path. Lastly, updates must work by modifying the value at a leaf cluster with some constant time associative operation and then re-evaluating the values of the internal clusters on the corresponding route to leaf path. Simple operations cover many different classes of operations such as path weight updates and queries, subtree weight updates and queries, and many more that we'll see a few examples of in a moment. So our result for batched mixed operations on trees is given an RC tree on n vertices and a batch of k operations from a simple operation set, we can evaluate the batch in k log n work and just log n log k depth. This, is, this improves on an algorithm of Geismann and Gianni Nazi who solve mixed batches of path weight updates and queries in at least k log squared n work. So our algorithm is both more general since theirs only works for this specific class of updates and queries and ours is a factor of log n faster. So our algorithm for doing these mixed batched operations works on the RC tree. We take the operations and we group them by leaf and then we do a prefix sum over the values to compute the initial values at each leaf. We then merge the values up the RC tree level by level, making sure to use the most recent value by timestamp at each of the children to compute the new value on the parent. Then, since by definition of a simple operation set, queries are processed on the way up, looking only at the values of the current cluster and the children, the queries can be processed as this is happening. So as a quick example, let's say we want to maintain the sum of the values of a vertex weighted tree where we want to maintain the total weight in a subtree. The input operations on a particular vertex might look like this where we have two updates adding two and adding three to the weight and a query in between them. So we first do a prefix sum to compute the initial values. We call this the operation list where we have the initial values and the initial value of the query starting at zero which will be updated incrementally as we go up. Then we go up the tree level by level, say these are the siblings of the current node, and we merge them to get the values at the parent node. For example, note here that at timestamp seven, to compute the value, we use the value at timestamp seven on the leftmost child, the value at timestamp six in the middle child, and the value at timestamp one in the rightmost child. Since these are the most recent values to timestamp seven at each of the children. Since we're maintaining the sum of the values in a subtree, the aggregate operation in this case is just to sum the values of the children. Hence we get six plus 10 plus two, giving us a value of 18 in the parent. Queries work similarly. They have to make sure that they look at the most recent value for each timestamp. 
So now that we have our batched mixed operations framework, we can apply it to speed up the minimum cut problem. Before we get into our m log squared n work algorithm, we can actually first come up with two very simple m log cubed n work algorithms, which already improve on the state of the art. So since, as we mentioned before, our batch framework generalizes Geismann and Gianni Nazi's mixed path queries and updates algorithm, and as a factor of log n faster, we can simply plug our algorithm into their algorithm and immediately cut off a log factor in the work, yielding an m log cubed n work parallel algorithm. Another way we can obtain an m log cubed n work algorithm is by parallelizing a recent algorithm of Lovett and Sandland, which is the same speed as Karga's algorithm, but substantially simpler. In essence, their algorithm consists of doing a heavy light decomposition on the tree, and then sweeping through the edges in decomposition order, and doing a bunch of uh, edge weight updates and edge weight queries on the tree. In essence, the whole thing can be boiled down to just a big sequence of edge weight updates and edge weight queries, which we can show have a simple RC implementation. And hence, this algorithm can be batched up and thrown into our batched mixed operations framework to yield an m log cubed n work parallel algorithm. Now, we move forward to coming up with a faster parallel algorithm. The first step of Karga's algorithm is to sample the graph with probability inversely proportional to the size of the minimum cut. To do this, we therefore need a constant factor approximation to the minimum cut. Karga gave several algorithms for this. One in particular is an algorithm that gives a k approximation, and it works simply by performing a certain number of trials of the contraction algorithm and keeping track of the component with the smallest incident weight. This is easy to do sequentially just by simulating the contraction process, but it's a little more difficult in parallel. We however show that the following operations have a simple RC implementation. We can maintain a vertex weighted tree, and we can subtract weight from a vertex. We can perform a join edge operation, which marks an edge as joined. And we can query on a vertex, which tells us the weight of the component induced by the joined edges, of the component that contains that given vertex. We then observe that this operation set can be used to simulate the contraction process. We first, as in the normal sequential algorithm, come up with a minimum spanning tree on the random edge ordering, and then pre-process for each non-tree edge, the edge in the minimum spanning tree with the lightest weight that that edge's path goes through. Then we can simply process the edges in order, and for every edge that we want to contract, we look at all of the non-tree edges whose path goes through that edge, we look at their weights, and then we subtract their weights from their endpoints using a subtract weight operation. We then do a join edge operation on the edge, and then we query all of the vertices whose value might have changed during this. It then suffices to observe that during this process, we have been maintaining precisely the incident edge weight on all of the vertices, and hence the minimum value of all of the queries that we did will be the solution to this contraction process. And we can take the minimum one and get our k-approximation algorithm. So once we have the k-approximation algorithm, the next step is to come up with an algorithm for two respecting cuts. So Karga's algorithm and all of those in this line of work, they take the spanning tree and they arbitrarily root it. Then they proceed in two cases. First, considering the case where the two cutting edges are on the same root to leaf path. This is called the descendant edges case. And the second, when the two cutting edges are not on the same root to leaf path. This is called the independent edges case. We show that we can solve the first case, the descendant case, using our algorithm for mixed batched operations on trees. Essentially, we use the following idea. We let Fe denote the set of edges UV in the graph, whose UV path in T go through the edge E. We then let W of Fe denote the total weight of this set of edges. We then observe the following simple fact. The weight of the two respecting cut constrained by the edges E and E prime is given precisely by the weight of Fe symmetric difference Fe prime. This is easy to see with a simple diagram. 
if E and E prime here are the two cutting edges, then note that the edges that cross the cut must be those that go from part of the green partition into the orange partition, which from this diagram is very easy to see, are simply the edges that cross exactly one of, but not both of, the edges, E and E prime. Hence the symmetric difference between F of E and F of E prime. So, once we have this, we use the following idea. For a fixed tree edge E, we simply want to seek E prime to minimize the value of the expression, weight of F E, symmetric difference, F of E prime, which, based on the formula for symmetric difference, is equivalent to minimizing weight of F E prime minus two weight of F E intersect F E prime. So the idea of our algorithm is to traverse the rooted tree while maintaining the following invariant. Whenever we touch the edge E during our traversal, we guarantee that for all of the other edges in the tree, the weight of the edge E prime in the dynamic tree is exactly this expression we're trying to minimize, weight of F E prime minus two weight of F E intersect F E prime. The solution then follows simply by taking the minimum weight edge in the dynamic tree at every step of the traversal. We show how to generate the sequence of edge weight updates necessary to support this, and then we can simply observe that this whole algorithm yet again boils down to nothing but a big sequence of dynamic tree edge weight updates and edge weight queries. Since these operations have a simple RC implementation, this can be solved with our mixed batched operations framework. To solve the other half of the two respecting cuts problem, the independent edges case, we use a parallel version of the algorithm given by Garachowski et al. in their sequential algorithm. We show that we can use RC trees to parallelize a divide and conquer algorithm that would otherwise be sequential in their algorithm. We also combine some ideas using compressed path trees to make this efficient. We omit the full details of this and you can read the paper if you want to see this case. Finally, we can put everything together. With the parallel k approximate minimum cut, we can perform the sampling step of Karga's algorithm in m log squared n work and poly log depth. Then, once we've solved the descendant edges case of minimum two respecting cut in m log n work and log squared n depth using our mixed batched operations framework, we take m log squared n work in total over the log n trees. Then we solve the independent edges cases similarly using RC trees and compressed path trees in m log n work and log cubed n depth per tree. Putting all of this together gives us an m log squared n work poly log depth minimum cut algorithm. So in conclusion, we designed a framework for solving batched mixed operations on trees. This framework allowed us to parallelize and speed up several of the key ingredients used in today's state-of-the-art minimum cut algorithms, all based on Karga's algorithm. It's very general, and this framework likely has applications to other problems. And then, when we put everything together, we obtain the first parallel algorithm for minimum cut that performs just m log squared n work and poly log depth, which is no more work than the best sequential algorithm. Of course, this isn't the end of the game for minimum cut. A faster algorithm might still exist, but if we find a faster parallel algorithm, we'll also be finding a faster sequential algorithm at the same time. Thanks for listening, and let me know if you have any questions.